Okay, let's look at the question. The question is here find range of k for this one for all real values of x. Real values of x means any sort of x value. As long as you can plot it on the x axis, then that becomes real values of x. No matter what x value you put here, you want this entire quadratic function to be lesser or equal to the k value. Okay, I am not seeing the meaning behind this, still very blur. Okay, so what you will do is, of course, many of you, you have done this. Okay. So now let's try to interpret this. This entire quadratic function has to be less or equal to 0. What is less or equal to 0? Negative. Negative, right? Less or equal to 0 means negative. I want the function to be a negative function. Mm, not so keen with the negative in front of the x squared. Let me change it into a positive one. Okay, now... I can say it again. I want this entire quadratic function to be a positive function. So what do you want? You want a positive function. More or equal to 0 simply means curve lies above x-axis. So anything that is above the x-axis, it's going to be a positive function. So if you are wondering what is a positive function means, the output output i.e. the y, the y has to be either equal to 0 or more than 0. So any x value you put, your y value has to be 0 or anything greater than that. That is the meaning of positive function. So let's try to imagine how it will look like. Uh, so I am drawing a quadratic and then what is the lowest value here? Isn't it 0? Uh, the lowest is 0. The y value, the lowest y value is 0 and higher. So this is one scenario. Another scenario to get a positive function is maybe something like this. Your lowest y value is positive. Then it goes higher and higher. So together they are positive function. So if you want to use shortcut, then you can think of the discriminant concept. How many solution am I getting here? Only one solution, right? One solution means... Your b squared minus 4ac has to be equal to 0. Do you get any solution here? No. I am not getting any solution here. That simply makes the function to be positive. It is definitely lying on the positive y value here. So this is 0 solution. So when will you get 0 solution? b squared minus 4ac less than 0. So you merge two of this discriminant together. And you can write it as b squared minus 4ac less or equal to 0. By doing this, I know my function is always positive. Now let's take your b value from here. k minus 8 less or equal to 0. What do you get? 32. Leaving me with 41 minus 4k. And that is going to give us k more equals to 41 over 4. So how do I do this? Well, how do I make sure that the curve is positive? So simply means I have to find what is the lowest value here. I have to find what is the lowest value. So the lowest can be either 0 or more than 0. So it can be something here. It can be a 0 and then anything upper. Okay, anything upper. So the idea is to complete the square. Okay, so you will do x plus 3 over 2 square. Okay, you throw away what you do 1 minus 9 over 4. How do I get the 9? 3 square. How do I get the 4? I take the 2 and then I square it here. I throw away. Then only I will get only this part. Then you maintain the k minus 8. Okay, let's see what happens now. You are going to get plus k minus 41 over 4. So look at this. This one is telling me the vertex. This gives me a vertex. So I am going to draw. What I have done here, I made it into a happy quadratic curve. And I want it to lie more or equal to 0. So that's what I have done. So let me inspect. My x value here is going to be negative 3 over 2. Isn't that the vertex? Okay, let's write the vertex. It's negative 3 over 2, comma, k minus 41 over 4. 
so if i if i were to go and plot this year okay negative 3 over 2 is here will you be drawing something there are many scenarios if you put here let's say because you don't know what is this value right you don't know how to plot this so if you think that oh means i think my value is here you're going to get something like this so it's still a positive function because it's lying above the x axis or another scenario is your negative 3 over 2 can be here so when you sketch you can tell hey i think i want to put it exactly from 0 onwards this is also positive because my y value is all positive what is one scenario that you cannot do a scenario that you cannot do is something like this you cannot go and tell okay my x value is negative 3 over 2 right i think my y value will be here can you put it here if you put it here it's going to be something like this and look at this your y is becoming negative this side so of course this is not a positive function so the scenario is either the y becomes zero and above or some some value from here and higher so combination of these what i'm going to do i'm going to look at my y value and then i'm going to tell hey if you want to get a zero what will you put here if you are if you are here in this part what will your k value be if you want to get a y value of 0, what will you put here? Isn't it 41 over 4? Ah, then, so in this case, your k value is 41 over 4. So what kind of value will you put for the k so that your y value is appearing here? Slightly higher than the 0. Isn't it something greater than 41 over 4? Maybe you can put k as 11. You still get a y value which is positive you can put k as 20 you will still get as long as it's higher than this value then you are okay so technically when you are solving you just have to take this and put more equal to zero so these are all the possible value of k